Right, hi guys, it's Bob from Greybeard Models. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. Sorry for the delay. Um, this month's been a little bit hectic. Um, had a few things going on. Uh, family stuff, friends' birthdays, uh, a couple of bands that I needed to go and see, needed to, wanted to go and see. And, and of course, the cricket. Um, if you've been following the channel, you know I do like my cricket. And... Uh, England beating uh, be, beating India. Yes. Um, for those of you who don't know Test cricket, it's important. Um, anyway, <laughs> enough of that. Um, yeah, so I've been, even though I haven't been uh, putting videos up, I have been quite busy. Um, I've got a few things that I, I do want to show you, and uh, we'll catch up with that in a sec. But uh, some of the kits that I've uh, I bought, bought a couple of kits to add to the stash. Why I don't know, uh, because in the meantime I'm actually trying to clear some of the stash and putting putting um, kits up for sale on e on eBay. Um, and I probably shouldn't advertise that, but yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, enough of that old waffle. Let's get over to the bench and uh, I'll show you where we're at. Right, first of all, <coughs> oh, sorry, frog in the throat. Um, as you may know, I, I was working with using um, this wall section that I've got um, from Fog Models. Um, really good company, they are worth checking out. Um, so I've got that, and I was going to sort of position it on here and then have the truck and whatnot. But what I've decided to do is actually have that as a back piece um, and then have the truck in front and, and whatnot. Um, and also what I've done is bought another section. Um, so it's in fact going to be some sort of gateway, um, I think. Um, I'm still <laughs> I'm still in two minds because I was actually quite tempted to just go like that. Um, or something like that. So I had the two pieces of wall, um, and then on, on the on the top of if I moved that out of the way. In fact, if I moved a lot out of the way, it might might be a lot easier. <laughs> so what I did with this wall section was actually put some of these sort of topping stones on the on the top of that, and they're made with milliput. Um, little sections like that, and I've got a couple of those. And then I, then I had, um, I had some problems because the milli part that I had, um, I didn't actually realise I probably had it for about five years. Um, and obviously, milli part does have a shelf life, um, and it has a shelf life of about two years if it's kept wrapped and, and whatnot. Um, so I had to go and order some more um, because the other tiles that I made with the milli putt, uh, one one batch of it, it just wouldn't go off. It, <laughs> uh, I suppose the hardener had lost its hardening properties. So I've had to go and get another packet of milli putt, which I will, um, which I will use, but. This now posed me a bit of a question. There's nothing on here, as far as I could tell, about age. And I wrote on here September 2023, which is when I bought this packet. Um, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't realise I bought it, but it was in the shelf, on the shelf anyway. Um, but there's no sort of use by date. Which is an interesting question. Does it, maybe maybe they should, but I don't know. Anyway, I've got to make up some new ones to go with that wall. So I've decided that the two walls will go together like that, and uh, it can be a gateway. So I found these on uh, Mini Arts. Uh, building accessories 
um, kit, which, I mean, they appear in lots of building kits. And I thought, that makes a gate. But it does, it looks a bit silly, really, a little gate like that. And then I thought, well, I could make it bigger if I cut down and adapt the two, then I'll have a bigger gate. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I had toyed with the idea of making like a wooden gate out of uh, coffee stores, which I thought was an interesting little project. But I think I'll, I'll stick with the, the mini art ones. And that will give me the background to the diorama. So that's where I am with the diorama. So let's get let's move this all out of the way and then I'll come back and show you where we are with the truck. So anyway, the truck um, is put together. I've got it upside down. Um, and then that that's already really for wheels to be put on. Still got a bit of the tape there where I was holding the cab together um to get that to line up um as as you know from the previous uh video i did have some problems with that of my own making um but anyway so the the truck bodies all together and that's really good that's coming on well um so it's really a matter now of getting all of that done all of the figures painted and then start on the on the um base the the diorama base um, I've got a few things to paint up, which is the the cage that goes over the top of the of the of the truck, which is which is the thing that holds the tarpaulin and that sort of thing. That's um, I've got that in primer, and then what I'll do is I'll line it all up over the body of the truck, and then uh, once it's all glued in place. Um, I can then take it off the body of the truck uh, and then paint that and then put it back on and fix it in place and then we can you know after I've got all the machinery in, inside so that's where I'm going with that um, next thing is get the wheels on a uh, few other bits and pieces little detailed bits and all of that and get, get it all together should should have it together fairly <laughs> fairly soon um now that i'm back at the deck at the bench um so I, you know should be able to put that together um the, the only the only bit of difficulty that i've had is really fitting the body to to the chassis um mainly because it's been really awkward to apply any pressure um to get the two halves of things to um, stick together but yeah it was a bit bit of a pig lining everything up but it, it it's gone together okay and I'm quite happy with it um, one of the things I had to do was actually remove not put this box on there there is there's another box that goes there um, the, the reason being is because the resin parts actually cover where the box fits um and i didn't want to <laughs> i had the resin parts already fitted and i hadn't realized that they they sort of hit the boxes um in hindsight um i could have probably taken them off and then redone them but i just decided now i'll carry on with with what i've got um it, it's been it's been like that this kit um, and these are these are issues of my own making so I'm you know I'm not blaming the kit at all but that's where we are with the kits and um, all of that sort of thing they're, they're all coming it's all coming together but slowly but surely the other thing is I've got a couple of new kits that I've added to the stash um, I won't do an unboxing but I will show you what I've got right so the first one i've added to the stash is this uh this kit just trying to get it to to sort of focus it's i don't know we should maybe change 
I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah. So I've got this, this Gecko kit. Um, it's the British landing craft, um, or landing craft of salt, as they call it. Um, I'm really looking forward to this kit. I think it's been out for about a year. I think I've seen, I've seen another build of it on uh, on YouTube. But even so, I thought, yep, got to add that to the stash. Um, and I'm going to try and get it done this year. I want to get it done, really, for the anniversary of D-Day. So, I want to get that done. Um, and I'm going to do a couple of things for D-Day anyway. It's our 80th anniversary this year. So, I think it's worth doing. So, that's that one. I'll be back. And the other one is this. Um, this is the Hong Kong models, 148th Avro Lancaster Dam Buster. Um, I was looking at getting the 130 second scale kit. Um, but to be perfectly honest with you, it's a little bit over my pay grade. And it's also, where the hell am I going to put it? I, you know. I haven't got a big room that I can put models in really um, you know it's got to fit in with the rest of the, the household so um, and I'm going anywhere really that I could put you know huge wingspan um, model when it's built so decided to get this one I've actually got the the other version uh, of the Lancaster I think it's the B1 uh, I think it's B1 or the B, B1 stroke 3 um, so I've got the, the sort of non dam buster version, um, which I really must put together because I've had it about three years. So I really must put that together. So I think maybe what I'll do is at some point is probably try and build the two of them at the same time. Plus I've got the nose art kits. If, if you've been following the channel, you know, <laughs> you'll, you'll know that I've got the nose art kits. So I really need to get those done. Um, once you get the truck out of the way, and that little diorama out of the way. I think I'm going to have to head into into Danbuster country and and Lancaster country and start building the nose heart kits and these um, get these underway um, before I go on to any more military vehicles. But anyway, that's what we've got. That's where we're at. Um, as I say, welcome back to the channel. If you've come this far through the video, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. And uh, We'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.